Hey y'all, Sherry G. Welcome back to the channel. So look, OWN dropped another sneak peek. Yep, they dropped another one today. It was dropped on the OWN Keeping It Real's IG page. And while I was at work today, I peeked it out and I have to tell you, it's hot. And I say that because Mel is not playing y'all. She's showing up big time and she's exposing everything that needs to be exposed, in my opinion. Now, y'all remember that at Ace's introduction to the world celebration, the ladies wanted to give Tisha feedback. And she said that she was receptive to the feedback. However, that that wasn't the place nor the time. And I agreed. I mean, in my opinion, we missed another opportunity to really celebrate baby Ace. The first being at his baby shower. Not that the things that were being mentioned, you know, didn't need to be mentioned. And not that they were not valid points that everyone was making. It's just that this was another celebratory moment for him that was missed, in my opinion. And hey, if it was celebrated all the way out, well, we didn't see it, right? We just saw the ladies going at each other. So anyway, at that particular time, Tisha said that she would be receptive to feedback. And so they agreed that they would make a meeting or set a meeting, a time and a place where everyone could come together and kind of go over the Black Business Expo event. <laughs> Well, I didn't think Tisha would really be receptive. And y'all, she wasn't. Mm, she wasn't. She was weirdly kind of quiet, though. Melody thought it was her being receptive. I don't know what it was. Um, but anyway, hey, I'm going to run my disclaimer. I'm going to go ahead and run some. Well, I'm going to actually run the, um, not the audio, but I'm going to run the clip of the particular uh, sneak peek. And then I'm gonna come back with my commentary. Hang tight. have everything ready for the next one that is you know more organized very much so more put together more streamlined all that good stuff so i can you know maybe participate so you so, don't feel like it was organized oh it definitely was like it, people paying at the day of the event for booths like we talked about that at tiffany's thing that's kind of mm. so the considered. event you said wasn't organized there were some parts that weren't yeah absolutely okay. and certain things not thought out so i think that by the next time it will be you know what i'm saying a lot of things was planned and the event itself was organized. Some of the behind the scenes stuff could have worked on better, but if we're here to get feedback about like the main event and things that you feel like should be better, but anything like prior to, I don't think we're here to discuss. That. Yes, we are definitely here to discuss all of that because the prior to leads to the main. Like, we're not going to downplay what I just said. While I'm here, all these different people have their opinions. Tisha seemed to be very quiet. Calm, receptive. Okay, y'all. So, look. Remember that everything I say in this commentary, it's just my views. It's my way of seeing things. It's all of opinion. It's all alleged. And those who choose to comment down below in the comment section, same applies to them. It's, it's their opinion, their allegations. Okay. Now, if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So look, now y'all, I know that Mel has always stood up for herself, but there seemed to be a different type of energy behind what she's bringing right now. She's still straightforward and confident, still a boss, but it's all of that wrapped in, wrapped in peace. I don't even know how to really explain it, but I like it. I can tell you that. Um, did y'all notice Tisha's body language? Um, she was squirming in her seat, tugging at her top, and she looked perturbed, if you ask me. 
I know Mel said that she seemed to be receptive. She was quiet and receptive. I feel like she was pissed off. That's what I got. Anyway, her whole thing about not wanting to discuss anything but the actual event just shows how closed she was, in my opinion, and not ready to face the truth, immature. It showed to me that she was anything but open. And like I said, her body language was displaying that. It, that she was closed. Um, like Mel said, it's everything that led up to the event that needs to be discussed because that w w that is what will make the event even better the next time. It's the lack of communication. It's, you know, we told certain people that we were going to ask them to participate and then we didn't. It's the lack of setting expectations for how much space you get, for how much money um, are we going to do contracts for these things? Um, who are we going to, how, what does the sponsorship look like? Is there going to be sponsors, sponsorships? It's all of that in one, um, all of that and then some actually. So Leticia was saying that, you know, um, if we're going to talk about anything, let's talk about the actual event. Yeah, there were there was a lot wrong with the actual event too, like more vendors who showed up than they actually expected, um, payments being unexpectedly asked of some of the participants on the spot and not others, um, vendors not being held to a certain circumference regarding their space. And I remember that Kimmy and Maurice didn't even know where their space was, like they were off somewhere in the back, you know. So yeah, it 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 left a lot. And then some of the people or some of their, the castmates who could have actually participated and give, given valuable information based on their expertise sitting in the audience while others were running around with microphone. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, did you notice how Marceau was sitting there squirming in his seat, doodling on his pad? <laughs> and as I watched it, I was thinking to myself, now, I wonder what ramblings he's trying to come up with, because we know we know that Marceau is going to say something. And I guess we'll see it when um, we watch the episode this week, this week, Saturday. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to have something to say. And I heard Maurice saying something in the background. I couldn't even hear what he was mumbling about. Um, <laughs> uh, Maurice and Kimmy, to me, they're just such non-factors right now. And while they're being as boring as they're being, the Scots 1.0 are being exposed left and right, in my opinion, if you ask me. Like I know a lot of this season was about um, Kiki and what she was going through, but I really feel like we're starting to find out more about the Scots. Some of the things that we have actually heard or that we've actually found out ourselves, you know, on social media, YouTube, and etc. It's actually coming to light on the show. So I think that that is a great thing. And then Tiffany was sitting there and, you know, she was kind of smirking. It'll be interesting to see what she has to say. But Tiffany, I think your turn is coming. So don't get too feisty at this meeting. And then there was Stormy. Stormy was sitting there with that smirk on her face. I don't know. She's been doing a lot of that lately. She's been acting a little different. Not as feisty, but at the same time, she still has that stormy way where I just really can't figure out what's really going on with her at this particular point in time. I think she's trying to figure out, you know, how am I going to play right now? Okay, y'all. I just really love when Melody said, uh-uh, no, ma'am. No, Miss Tisha, you are not going to disrespect me. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. I mean, she didn't say that, you know, but I'm paraphrasing, of course. But that's the, the gist of it, or at least that's what I got when she told her, you're not going to discount what I say. And I agree with Melody. What everyone has to say is important. But of course, because it doesn't line up with what Tisha wants to hear, she wants to downplay it. But Melody is absolutely correct. 
everything that happened before the event matters because it led up to the event. And it is the reason why the event wasn't as organized as it should have been. And this is not anybody hating on Tisha or hating on Marceau. It's just, it is what it is. And if you want to get it right, these are the things you have to do. Like you guys wanted to come in here and you wanted to do this. You wanted to do it your way and you weren't receptive to feedback in the beginning. And that is why it turned out to be eh, not as successful as it could have been. Now, in their minds, they think it was great and it was successful. And well, I mean, their reality is, you know, perception is their reality, I guess. But, you know, to the rest of everyone else, there was a lot more that could have been done to make it a lot better. So we'll see what happens on Saturday when this group gets together. Well, that is all for this video, y'all. So again, if you haven't done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. I'll be back. Until then, ciao.